Hi, Steve Sleeper here for Arid Resources, a division of AMI Environmental, and I'm here today with Brian Gibson. And, 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 and Brian, I know uh, that Nebraska has some, some radon issues, so I guess the obvious question is, should I test for radon in Nebraska? Yeah, Steve, you really should. You should really test because you don't know if you have a radon problem unless you test. And over half of the houses in Nebraska test high for radon. Oh, really? No kidding. Now, why is that? Is it the clay-like soil or is it... Uh, it has to do with the uranium deposits that are found uh, below the ground in this area. Oh, okay. So uh, just from uh, billions of years of building up, it's uh, sure. we, 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 we drew the lucky straw, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we did. Now, I, I understand that sometimes uh, one house can have a radon issue and another one not, or one industrial plant can have one and the other not. Is that true? That, that is true. Uh, it depends on the way that the structure is built and also the biggest factor is where the uranium is, uh, the source of the radon is in the ground. Um, and each house is built different. Each house uh, pulls its, uh, its uh, gases in and it's insulated maybe better than another structure so it's going to pull those gases in more so. Okay. So l let's say you're called in on an existing structure to test for radon. Uh, walk me through what you do. Um, basically what we got to do, there's some, there's some factors that have to be met. The house has to be, or the structure is supposed to be closed up um, and it, the heating and air needs to be set to on um, and on an auto the fan can't be running all, all the time unless that's how they normally live in the house. Uh, we've got to go through and we've got to run a test in the lowest livable structure or portion of the home or the structure. Uh, for instance if it's a business you would test the basement in an occupied area. You wouldn't want to run a radon test in a furnace room or uh, in a vault yeah, right. You know, somewhere right. where people are spending their time. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just common sense kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, though. Yeah. <laughs> there's people that test next to a sump pit, and we always ask them, "Are you going to sleep there?" <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Good. Good point. Thanks, Brian. For a free consultation, call four zero two eight six one four four zero zero and ask for Brian Gibson, or go to radonomaha.com.